So JP has got a lot of new Dragon Ball Hero stuff on the way. In fact, I think all of these units are dropping literally tomorrow. And uh, there's of course a bunch of new units, but also a few token awakenings for some very popular older units. And they all look amazing. I can't freaking wait for them. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all the details you need to know about each and every one of these units. So uh, this video could take some time since there's so much stuff to go through. So why don't we just jump into it? And as far as the new units go, of course, we have a new golden cooler. We also have a new super foo. Um, this is, I believe, Vajanx or Vajex. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce the name, but uh, it's a fusion between Vegeta and Trunks. And there is also a new Xeno Gotenks, a new uh, Gohanks, I'm pretty sure. And uh, this is the free-to-play cumber that's farmable from the new story event. And last but not least, we have the uh, Super Saiyan, I think it's just Super Saiyan, not Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan Great Ape um, Cumber, who is summonable and he does transform into a Great Ape when a condition is met. And for the Awakenings, we have the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku Awakening, we have the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Awakening, and also a fan favorite, the Supreme Kai of Time, also will get an Awakening too. Now I gotta say, the new art looks phenomenal, but I still prefer the pre-awakened art for um, various reasons. I mean, I think, I think the angle is better. I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, uh, token awakening for her too, and uh, that is the full roster on DBZ Space right here, but of course, I can't read Japanese, and I could do Google Translate, but that never really works out the way you want it to, so we're instead gonna pop over to Twitter here and uh, take a look at the translations provided by none other than the homie Goresh, and I know this guy gets it a lot, but I do want to say one more time that we really really appreciate you man um especially this time when there were so many things to translate and i know this guy is super busy as you can see he says don't have time to post pictures as i have to wake up in two hours um so just the work this guy puts in um goresh you're awesome man we really really appreciate you if you're watching i want you to know that you know the community loves you the work you put in to provide us this information these translations in a timely manner uh, it's huge. So thank you so much to Goresh guys in the comments down below say thank you Goresh or maybe write him a little message Whatever you want to say just show him how much you appreciate this guy for the translations and the work he puts in all right, so uh, With that out of the way guys, let's jump in to these translations And we're gonna start here with the token awakening for the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and he's called Prince of Conviction leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes category so uh, this is actually a new category by the way brand new category added to the game of course it just includes all Dragon Ball Heroes units and uh, it's Dragon Ball Heroes category or Super Fizz type key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack is atomic flash, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense of the enemy of course. His passive is attack and defense plus 100%, disables enemy guard, gains 7% additional attack and defense, and critical hit chance, max of 35% per Dragon Ball Heroes category ally, and gains an additional attack plus 50%, when launching a super attack. So a couple things to take in here. First of all, attack and defense plus 100%, that's unconditional. And then on top of that, he can get up to 35% more attack and defense based on the number of Dragon Ball Heroes allies on the team. And he also gets up to 35% more critical hit chance, which is actually insane. And then on top of that, he also gets 50% more attack when launching a super. So uh, he should be hitting quite hard guys. And uh, of course that chance the crit is gonna make him hit even harder. He also uh, lowers the enemy's defense. He also greatly raises his, his own attack for one turn. So uh, yeah, great, great awakening. Nothing wrong I can see here. Um, I love it, man. I love it. A lot of respect paid to the Prince of All Saiyans right here. And his links are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, Prodigies over in a Flash, uh, Limit Breaking Form, and Shattering the Limit. Not bad. Category Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, 
and Rivals. All right, so that is the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta. I would spend more time talking about each of these units, but there are so many of them that I think I'm going to keep my commentary to a minimum in this video. And uh, that's the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Next up is, let's see, um, we can, let's do Super Fu. Okay, Super Fu. Enraged Researcher. Leader skill, Dragon Ball Heroes category, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, a surprise blade, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes immense damage and seals super attack, and his passive is attack and defense plus 150%. When launching a super, gains a key plus 1, max of 4, and chance to evade plus 10%, max of 40%, for each Time Traveler's category ally. So, of course, he's best suited for the Time Traveler's uh, team, getting up to 40% chance to evade, which is really good, and uh, also self-sufficient for key. Links are Brainiacs, Duo, Demon Duo. Demon Duo. Is that a new link? I don't remember like seeing that link in other on other units, but anyways, Demon Duo, the Innocent, Cold Judgment, Rival Duo, Infighter, and also Shattering the Limit, and his categories are Dragon Ball Heroes and Time Travelers, and that is the Super Food right there, looking really, really solid too. Uh, next up is Great Ape Super Saiyan Cumber, so this is the um, Summonable, yeah, I believe this is the Summonable. Uh, Cumber, the STR one is the free to play one. Leader skill, extreme class, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 80%. Okay. Super attack is a savage tyrant, causes immense damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. And his passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, just like Fu, except he also gets key plus 2 unconditionally. High chance to stun super class enemies when receiving an attack. That's, that's really interesting, actually. Super, super interesting. So um, instead of stunning upon attacking, he actually can have, he has a chance to stun, actually a high chance to stun when receiving an attack. And uh, this only applies to super class enemies, but still, that's a very unique uh, mechanic that we've never seen before. High chance to transform into a great ape when HP is 50% or below once only. And uh, Goresh says that currently, we're unsure if Great Ape does anything special aside from just be invincible and uh, have really high stats like other Great Apes. Maybe like this one has some additional, you know, special mechanics that we haven't seen before. But right now, as far as we know, uh, he transforms into a Great Ape and no other information about the Great Ape form. All right. Links are Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Tough as Nail, Saiyan Roar, Transform for battle and shattering the limit couple of good links in there also some not so good links like um tough as nails for example i don't think is uh very prevalent on a lot of top tier units um no fierce battle but i wasn't really expecting fierce battle from these units so we got shattering the limit prepare for battle is great obviously um and super saiyan is great so categories are pure saiyans time travelers dragon ball heroes giant transformation or I guess just giant form and also Super Saiyan. And uh, that is the cumber right there. Next up, we have the Golden Cooler, the one that I think a lot of people were the most excited for out of this uh, new batch of units. And we got an email Judy Lou's birthday, good to know. <laughs> golden Cooler, the strongest golden form. Leader skill, extreme tech types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 100%, not bad. Super attack, golden supernova, raises attack and causes immense damage, and it looks like uh, you can stack that attack infinitely for 99 turns at least, so uh, that's pretty good. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, all allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, and if there are three or more Dragon Ball Heroes category allies, gain an additional attack and defense plus 30% and performs an additional attack that is a medium chance of, of becoming a super attack. So um, he is a very good support unit, guys. So of course, he will be able to hold his own 
uh, for attack and defense too because he will support himself with that support passive. He also gets an additional 30% for attack and defense, so in total like 150%, actually maybe even higher if it's calculated separately. I'm not really sure how the calculation works, but he should be getting a very, very good buff for attack and defense, and uh, also medium chance to perform a additional, actually no, a guaranteed additional if there are three or more Dragon Ball Heroes allies, and uh, that attack has a medium chance to become a super attack, so in theory, with the right setup, this guy could super up to three times a turn, and uh, of course supporting the rest of the rotation too. G plus two, attack and defense plus 20%, really, really good. I have heard that his links are not the greatest, so he has Strongest Clan in Space, Cold Judgment, Brainiacs, Rival Duo, Metamorphosis, and Universe's Most Malevolent. Okay, so, I mean, not the best links, but not the worst links either. He, he will link like, you know, with other, uh, like, Wicked Bloodline units with a few of those links, so like, it's not the worst, but uh, I don't think it's gonna link very well, obviously, with, like, um, a lot of Heroes units, which I think is very unfortunate, since the best team to probably run him on would be a Dragon Ball Heroes-themed category team, right? Um, categories are Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Full Power, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes, so that is the Golden Cooler. And I gotta get a move on because we still have uh, <laughs> six more things to go through. Okay, so uh, this one is Vajex. Vajex? Or is it Vajanx? Anyways, uh, Father and Son Fused Warrior, Leader Skill, STR Types, Key Plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 60%, Super Attack, Burning Impact, Raises Defense, Infinite Stack, and Causes Supreme Damage, and Passive is Vegeta and Trunks is Power. Attack and defense plus 70% when launching a super attack, gains critical hit chance plus 7% for every super attack launched, max of 35%, performs an additional super attack if the targeted enemy is in attack down or defense down status. Now unfortunately, they can't actually decrease the enemy's attack or defense themselves, so in order to get the additional super, they would have to rely on a ally, like someone else on the team, to um, put the enemy in attack down or defense down status, alright? And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Royal Lineage, uh, Shocking Speed, Fuse Fighter, and Power Bestowed by God. Uh, categories are Patara, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. Now this is... Um, pretty sure this one does not have a token awakening at launch, so it's uh, this one right there, uh, Vajex or Vajanx. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what the exact name is, but it's a fusion between Vegeta and Trunks. And yeah, they don't have a Dokkan Awakening at launch, so they will be better in the future. But right now, still not a bad unit. Still going to be very good for Legendary Goku event, for Infinite Dragon Ball history, and uh, events like that where you can stack defense, obviously. So that is the Vegex right there, guys. Next up is uh, Gotenks. Uh, so you know Gotenks, so that would be... Uh, this one right here, Xeno so you know, Gotenks. Leader scale, AGL types, uh, super AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, uh, super attack, super burning Kamehameha, causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 70%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 20% for every super attack launched, up to 80%, really good, performs an additional super attack if the targeted enemy is in the sealed status. So once again, um, they can't seal the enemy, so they, they would have to rely on a ally to um, get that seal off before they get the additional super. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Innocence, uh, Shocking Speed, Fuse Fighter, and Kamehameha. And categories are Fusions, Hybrid Saiyans, Kamehameha, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. All right, so that is Gotenks, Xeno Gotenks. And next up, we have Supreme Kai of Time, the uh, token awakening for the Supreme Kai of Time, all right? Divine Power of Time, Leader Skill, Dragon Ball Heroes category, or Super Fizz type. Wait, Super Fizz type. I'm pretty sure it should be Super Tech type, because she is a tech type. Unless they decided to do something really weird, I'm pretty sure that's a typo, so Super Tech type, I'm assuming. Um, or Dragon Ball Heroes, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack is massively, raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. So some synergy with uh, 
the Xeno Go tanks we just saw. And passive is all allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, and critical hit chance plus 12%, and great chance of all allies attack plus 12%, great chance of all allies defense plus 12% too. So, of course, the reason they're separate is so that um, in case it procs, it could it, it might just be one over the other. So like you might sometimes get 42% attack and 30% defense, or sometimes get 30% attack and 42% defense. And there's also a lower chance that both of them proc at the same time. And in that case, she will provide uh, all allies with key plus three, attack and defense plus 42%. Either way, she is a very very good support unit guys, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, and critical hit chance plus 12% alone is already top tier support because it's for all allies, alright, this is this applies to um, anything, right, there's no restriction on the category or types or anything like that, which is amazing, but uh, she also has the potential to give up to 42% attack defense, key plus 3, and also increase critical hit chance by 12%, so... Awesome Dokkan Awakening right there, I love it. Lynx, Master of Magic, Rival Duo, More Than Meets the Eye, Cold Judgment, Telekinesis, Godly Power, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, categories, Dragon Ball Heroes, Realm of Gods, Patara, and Time Travelers. And let's move on now since there's still more stuff to go through. Super Saiyan 3, Xeno Goku, Limit Breaking Superpower, so this is the Dokkan Awakening to the uh, the older uh, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, of course. Leader skill, Dragon Ball Heroes category, or Super... Hold on. Uh, it says Super Fizz type again. But, uh, once again, that doesn't make sense because um, he's STR. So, unless for some reason all these units just provide support to Super Fizz as well, I'm gonna guess that this is also Super STR as opposed to Super Fizz. But... Maybe I'm wrong, I don't really know. Um, so I'm assuming Dragon Ball Heroes are super STR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, instant transmission, Kamehameha, causes immense damage with a high chance to stun, passive is attack and defense plus 100%, guard activated against all attacks, gains an additional attack plus 50% when super attack is launched, and gains 7% damage reduction per Dragon Ball Heroes category ally, max of 35%. Pretty crazy. He's gonna be a very, very good tank. He already was um, amazing for Super Battle Road before because of that guard activated against all attacks and also the chance to stun. Now he has a high chance to stun and he also gets damage reduction. And um, yeah, he's just awesome. He's a great, great tank. Also gonna be doing good damage with 150% attack on his passive uh, when supering. So. I love it, looks great. Lynx, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Amihameha over in a flash, limit breaking form, and shattering the limit. Categories are Dragon Ball Heroes, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Goku's Family, and Kamehameha. Alright, so that is the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku looking amazing. And the final two we're going to look at is the STR Super, or just the STR Cumber. No Super Saiyan, just base form, STR Cumber, the free-to-play farmable unit from the new story event. Uh, Saiyan freed from bondage. Leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, and uh, super attack is Disaster Eraser, and Disaster is spelled in an interesting way, not really sure if that's a typo or just something they're going for, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. Uh, I love it. Raise attack and defense, infinite stack, amazing for legendary Goku event once again, and also um, once again the infinite Dragon Ball history event, and that event at the very least is going to get more stages in the future for like different sagas, right, from Dragon Ball, so um, yeah, he's going to be really good for that event. Passive, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50%, extreme class allies, attack and defense plus 20% when attacking, when attacking the enemy, super class enemies, attack and defense minus 20% when receiving an attack, performs an additional super attack as the first attacker in a turn after receiving an attack. Um, wow, okay, so he is going to be supporting extreme allies when they attack, uh, he himself gets key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50%, and uh, also debuffing the uh, debuffing super class enemies, um, also performing an additional super, so double or triple super 
um, if you have him with dupes, of course. I mean, he is free to play, so let's say you rainbow him, he can super up to three times uh, with the hidden potential system too. And yeah, he's looking really solid, guys. Really, really solid. Of course, his stats are not going to be amazing since he is a free to play unit, but um, his mechanics are phenomenal. I love that. Uh, Links, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Tough as Nails, Brutal Beatdown, Fierce, Fear and Faith, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, and Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay, so that is the Cumber. And last but not least, we have the Gohanks, Xeno Gohanks, Fused Warrior on a Mission. Uh, leader Scale, Super In Types, Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%, Super Attack causes Supreme Damage and Seals Super Attack, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 70%, gains an additional Attack and Defense plus 20% for every Super Attack launched up to 80%, and performs an additional Super Attack if the targeted enemy is in the Attack Down status. Um, very similar actually to the Xeno Go Tanks, I believe. Yeah, very similar. So. Everything is the same for the passive except for uh, the condition to perform an additional super attack is different, but uh, otherwise um, exact same passive. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Brainiacs, Tracking Speed, Fuse Fighter, Cold Judgment, and categories are Fusions, Time Travelers, Hybrid Saiyans, and Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay, so that is gonna do it for all the new Dragon Ball Hero stuff. Once again, a huge... Huge shout out to Goresh for all the hard work he put in. I know how busy this guy is, and he probably stayed up all night um, making these translations for us. And uh, we all appreciate you very much, Goresh. All right, so those are all the units. We covered everything the Super Fu, the Golden Cooler, the Awakenings for the Xeno Super Saiyan 3s, for Supreme Kai of Time, the uh, three new fusions, Vajex or Vajanks, 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 uh, Xeno Go Tanks, and also uh, Go Hanks, and also the free to play cooler, sorry not cooler, Cumber, uh, looks phenomenal too, and uh, this guy doesn't look too bad either man, he's gonna be really good I think too, uh, none of them like get me super super hyped at this point, uh, I'm honestly the most excited for the awakenings for uh, these three, cause they look amazing. And uh, yeah, JP will be getting this stuff literally tomorrow, so get ready for that, prepare your stones if you do plan to summon. And I am predicting that there will be a Dokkan Fest um, for, a suit, for a Dragon Ball Heroes unit at some point within the next couple of months, maybe like even next month possibly. Uh, because we're getting, we, we have a new Dragon Ball Heroes category, right, and we're getting all of these Awakenings and new units, we already have a nice roster from before too, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get some kind of um, Tokon Fest exclusive Dragon Ball Heroes unit that provides 170%, maybe like 150% across the board, I don't really know, probably 170 at this point since we're at that point, so let's say 170% across the board for Dragon Ball Heroes units, and uh, then you know it would allow us to really see what these um, these awakenings and also these new units can do, especially the ones that require a certain amount of Dragon Ball Heroes allies in your team to get the full use of their passive, right? So uh, yeah, look forward to that. Of course, once more information comes out about that, I'll keep you guys posted in a future video. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. That is everything we know about the upcoming awakenings and new units for Heroes banner coming tomorrow on JP and eventually on Global 2 probably within a couple months so uh, look forward to that for my global players too all right so that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something huge shout out to Goresh you're an awesome awesome guy uh, we appreciate you and as always if you guys like today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.